In the late 60s and early 70s, access to contraception was ambiguous and uncertain. With a lack of resources for education and advice, women in WA had little or no choice. Over the last 50 years, much has changed. We continue to echo the passions of our early founders while meeting the needs of a modern and diverse community. I've been working in this area for a long time, so I've certainly experienced firsthand many barriers to accessing sexual and reproductive health services. I became really aware that it wasn't just me that this affected, this was all the women around me, and it was one of the many structural barriers that actually um, stopped women being able to participate fully in the workforce and in society. SHQ has tried in a number of ways to improve the knowledge in community about sexual health issues. They can come to us in education or us in the Aboriginal program area to, to help add to what they know and what they do or how they're teaching to service our community and our workers. SHQ is a safe and inclusive workplace because I think we've got such a wonderful culture of just like genuine like openness, kindness and respect for not only like everyone we work with but the like different kinds of clients that we see as well. I think when you work in sexual health you just have like an innate openness and respect for a lot of people from a lot of diverse different backgrounds who face a lot of different barriers in life. And so many people in the world still have that experience of, of not even having the ability to start imagining being honest about their healthcare needs. So I think that like we are a lot better at that at SHQ. I think that our patients are able to be open and honest with us and that um, I think that we have that reputation. And I think that, you know, that is radical change. Um, this is something that wouldn't have existed for most of human history for any LGBTI person almost anywhere. The changes over the years in people accessing sexual and reproductive health, firstly, the organisations helped by providing care, as well as perhaps being a bit in the forefront, educating others over the years about the need for change and the fact that actually this care is not so difficult um, and it's what people deserve. We have achieved a lot in 50 years, yet there is still much work to be done to break down those barriers, to eliminate stigma and discrimination to normalise sexual health and to improve access to services for all Western Australians, especially for those facing barriers to accessing appropriate healthcare and wellbeing. With each year that passes, the organisation has grown in ability and strength. As new issues surface, we will continue to adapt by developing new offerings that reinforce our position as a leading quality provider of relevant sexual health services to a growing population of diverse clients with evolving needs.